Hi everyone. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we finally started the stream. Um, hi, my name is Priyanka. I'm going to be doing a garage band stream today. As you can see, um, I kind of set up the app. I just wanted to, um, I work at the DML, the digital media lab, and I feel like I haven't really displayed any of the stuff that we've had there. So I'm going to try and show you how accessible it is to do this kind of stuff here. Um, I'm going to go off camera for a second because I have, I have my big screen up next to me so that I can see what y'all are saying in chat and make sure also that I'm visible. It's showing me the captions. But it's really distracting me. OK, anyway, yeah, but um, oh, geez. OK, so um, y'all can't see it. Maybe I'll lift this just to show you. But I have a giant, <laughs> I have a giant MIDI keyboard right here. Um, which was in the streaming room. I also wanted to show you that um, I've been using GarageBand for a while in my personal life, um, just self-taught. I bought this small keyboard, which is also a MIDI keyboard, uses the exact same cable. It's like, I think, it's like an octave and a half or so, and it was like 30 bucks, 35 bucks on Amazon like forever ago, so it's really, really easy to use GarageBand. Um, it's a default software on Apple computers, in case you don't know. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you how like easy it is to make music with this. <laughs> yeah, also, thank you. My green screen is... Um, it's actually kind of funny because my hair sometimes will disappear with this lighting because it's like blue-green. It's not doing it right now, but it was before. You might see it, my like part of my head disappear. But Hi, Claire. Hello, everyone. Okay. Also, that emote is very cute. Also, um, so I have a ma mic set up to capture me, but also, since I can't pipe through my desktop, you're just going to hear it out loud through my <laughs> computer. So if you hear the keys clacking, or if it doesn't sound good, or if I'm too quiet, let me know. Also, I haven't played piano in forever, and my wrist posture with this whole how my seat is, is terrible. But, okay, so I had a couple different ideas for what I wanted to start out with. I didn't plan any music stuff ahead of time because I wanted to show you, like, I guess the creative process. That sounds a little silly, but, um, but I had two general kernels of ideas. The first one is that, um, so there's like an indie pop band, Glass Animals. I don't know if anyone's heard of them, but they, um, they're pretty popular, I guess. They did the song Heat Waves, which has been popular recently. But it's really cool because they're like a for real band and they have um, the sounds that they use to create their music like online to buy for free, which is really cool. So I'm going to literally go on their website in front of you and download their music. Or not their music, but the sounds that they use and see if I can use them on GarageBand. My other idea was... Um, and this is slightly more of a music theory based one. I'm going to I'm going to download some stuff on GarageBand here while this is running. But um my other idea was a music theory based one and the idea was that um so the song type a waltz um it it's like done in 3 beats, so it's usually in 3/4 time. Sometimes it's a little swingy. It's like da 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 da, da or whatever. Um and your heartbeat also beats in threes, you know? So I was thinking about um, finding some like free heartbeat sound thing online and then using that as the beat to write a waltz, maybe. <laughs> uh, just for the record, I grew up playing piano, like normal classical stuff, like for 12 years, 13 years, like from the second grade until I graduated high school pretty much. And then a little after that too. So yeah, um, my background is in, oh, sorry, I'm trying to figure out the installing stuff. Yeah, okay. So yeah, my um, basis in music theory is mostly piano, which is good because I have this keyboard. Yeah, hopefully this will be good. I totally am connected to a power source. I don't know why it's lying to me, but. Oh, this turned off. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so I'm setting this to download because um, there's like an essential, yeah, there's a bunch of sounds that GarageBand comes with. Setting that to download in front of you guys so you can see it. I'm also kind of reaching over this keyboard. And I will be going on the Glass Animals website to, whoops, that was stuff I was doing before. 
yeah, to download their sounds and see how we can integrate them. So you're going to be right here with me as I figure out how to do this. God, I wish you guys could see my posture on the table. This is the most awkward because uh, I'm reaching over the keyboard like this, like the, the, the music keyboard, not the computer keyboard. Also, thank you for the encouragement. Whoa. Whoa, their website is really cool. It looks like a fake desktop. This is not an actual desktop. I guess I'll accept their cookies. Um, they have a bunch of stuff here for us. Okay, but that's not what I'm looking for. Stuff? Where? Okay, they have made it a little difficult to look at this. Da, 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 da. Cherry stems. Oh, look, here it is. Oh, so you can just download their WAV files. Interesting. Okay. I was kind of assuming that it would be like a MIDI kit, like um, musical instruments, but we'll see if we can do something cool with this. I've never done this type of thing, so we will see if I can do anything with this. This is strange. Okay, but. Oh, God. That was so loud. I can't believe they're putting this much out here to use. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's a way that I can just open all of them, but I do not think that there, there's a way to do that. So let's see if we, I could just find some ones that look interesting to me. I don't, I don't think I like that bass very much. <laughs> That's the same thing. What do these both? Oh, for the chorus, breath. <laughs> you know, I think, you might think that I'm optimistic, but I think that I can maybe re record my own breath and that I don't need glass animals. There's a lot of breaths. There's a clap. <laughs> I'm not sure I like any of these. I feel like most of these I can get done myself if I need them in a way that I like more. Okay, we're just going to use GarageBand stuff. Um... It looks like a bunch of stuff is still downloading, but let's see if I can download some free source music or free source audio. I think that's what it's called. There's a lot of websites, literally, if you just Google that, where you can download royalty free music, just like um, you can download stock images. Wow, this looks bad. Anyway, I'm going to download a heartbeat. I might also see if they have some more interesting stuff. Heartbeat stopping. That's... Alarming. All right. I think that I'm, oh no. I'm just hearing other stuff. Come on. Come on. Okay, I didn't, ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of all this. I feel like there's, okay, all this stuff is banging and it's distracting me. Oof, okay. Yeah, but normally I use my little itty bitty keyboard and it works out pretty good. Okay, back to <laughs> open source audio, that's what it's called. I think. Hopefully seeing all the rough parts of all this random stuff. Will be cool. I also really wanted to try remixing music at some point, but I wasn't sure about Twitch's like propriety stuff and whether they'd get like mad at me and ban me uh, for doing that. So I might look into that later, but I really have to do my like legality research. Okay. That's really too slow, too fast. Oh, that's the lo-fi. I wanted to hear the too, too slow, too fast, because then maybe we can play with the tempo a little. Do you hear anything? That sounds like knocking more than a heart. Ugh. Okay, these are all really weird and lo-fi, I think. I'm going to try and go back to my original Google. Um. Also... Not to, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, did I, did I wrote free samples? Sorry, guys. Yeah, let's just go to Costco on stream and just just sample some stuff 
Okay. Oh, here we go. I literally haven't done this in years. By the way, I used to be really into it, and then, um, I don't know. I took a hot second. I think this is where I was before. Um, yeah. Hopefully I'll find something soon so that I don't have to just do this forever for two hours on stream. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, I'll just... Uh, no. <laughs> yes, a song inspired by free samples at Costco. Actually, I mostly have done instrumental stuff and not song lyrics because I feel like you basically have to write poetry to do song lyrics and also you have to be like really vulnerable with your emotions and stuff and that's pretty scary so I haven't done it but maybe one day I will be brave enough to these are all okay also I think my um my computer's running a little slow because it's downloading a million things right now. This might work. Audio jungle. It's only at the beginning. This might work, actually. Audio jungle. Uh -oh. I don't like that she says that. That's scary. I think that I can actually use this and I can um, crop it and like turn it into a loop that where she, the, the lady's not in there. Oh, subscribe. I might just give up on this. This is taking too. You know what? My. Ooh, this isn't. It's taking a million years. Jeez. Okay, well, let's see what we have so far. Try and play some stuff. We have this. Oh, I can turn it up from my. That's cool. I have a, I have a slidey thing on my keyboard. That lets me um, change the audio. I like that it says cheap organ. I used to really like the um, using synths and all of the organ noises because they have. Let me see if I can show you. They have a lot of organs. Oh, they all downloaded. Yes. Let's get into some gospel music. I'm not affiliated with that particular religion, so I don't really know anything about it. But I do like organs. I like me some organs. Ooh. I don't think I can do that. I think I have something here. See if we can get the met. Oh, that's a metronome. Can I change the top? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Let's see if I can create a heartbeat for myself. So a heartbeat goes like. Right? Right? Okay. So let me let me make a heartbeat with something that's not a heartbeat thing. Let's go to percussion and see what they got for. What is that? Okay, no. No, 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 no. All sounds. All right, looks like they don't have percussion for us. It won't let me um download anything. So I'm just going to make do with what I have. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. A bass would be good, actually. Ooh. I don't really like the echo on anything. No, it's not. Maybe a crunchy heartbeat? What do you guys think? Oh, no. Actually, really like that. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that one in the... Oh, as an option. The deep groove synth bass. That's not... I can't get staccato enough with that, so I don't really like it. Also, it's worth um, mentioning that with each of these instruments, yes, there are presets, but these little like knobs at the bottom, you can mess with a lot of the properties. So for me, 
I feel like I tend not to like sounds that are very sharp or sounds with like a ton, like an excessive amount of distortion, but I do like synthy stuff. So I might, you'll see me messing around with some of the instruments maybe and get the sound out of it that I want. But honestly, the software is super, super easy to use, especially if you have a MIDI keyboard and have any sort of anything in music. And so you can get pretty far with nothing. That is something strange. This one's called squelchy. It's not very squelchy. I'm not even sure if this is making good entertainment, quite frankly. Usually I'm sitting in silence with like unwashed hair and like. <laughs> I think that the whatever deep group one is the one that we want. And I think that I have to do a couple octaves down. I'm gonna listen, actually, I'm gonna listen to a heartbeat sound on YouTube to try and get my, um, my frame of reference. No, no, I'm not trying to do that anymore. We, you know what? I know that the end cooking shows, they say if you can't, um, make your stuff, store-bought is fine. We're doing the opposite here. If you can't find store-bought heartbeat sound, homemade is fine. Okay, here we go. Zaxby's bonus wings me. Sorry everyone. I'm gonna <laughs> I forgot about ads because like um I usually have an ad blocker on this video is not sponsored by Zaxby's, just so you know. Um but I usually have an ad blocker on my computer, so I tend to forget on other people's computers that ads exist, especially on YouTube. Two ads? Inhalation solution. Okay, anyway. Um <laughs> Okay, I think that tempo might be a little fast for me, but I can, so the other neat thing about GarageBand is that there's a built-in metronome. So if you, there's a metronome. And as you can see up here, you can set the tempo, the BPM. You can also set the um, like time signature. So that, I'm gonna be utilizing all that. Um, but I think that, let's see. I can't tell whether I like that or not. Maybe I'll do some EDM like, oh, uh oh, my webcam is gone. Sorry, everyone. I'm going to fix that really quick because you guys can't see me for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do a techno-y thing maybe. I have a feeling that it's that I ran out of battery. But yeah. Um, that's the general tenant. I know I said I was going to do a waltz, but I'm really not sure about it anymore. And I feel like, I mean, I don't know how anyone else's like music making process goes because I feel like it's incredibly um, personal. But at least for me, I tend to just like fly by the seat of my pants. And whenever I get like a kernel of an idea, it's usually like some sort of like structural basis, like the whole heartbeats and threes, whatever. I start from there and then I kind of just run with it and see where it <laughs> takes me. Yeah, sorry everyone. I'm just trying to fix my camera so that you can see me again. But, <sighs> okay. Da, 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 da. Is that, ooh? I don't know if you guys heard the shutter. Yeah, okay, it worked. Okay, all right. Crisis averted. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that camera's battery life is getting really short. So it's not very good. But okay. Oh, that was two. Okay. Oh, there's literally an octave button on this. Okay, anyway. Down an octave. I think I'm just going to use a C for this. You can't really see my keyboard. Maybe I'll do a top-down camera as well next time so you can see what notes I'm playing. But as you'll be able to see in this in a minute, um, you'll be able to see my like MIDI notes put in as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to try and record this. I might turn down the tempo a little 
just because it's very fast. <laughs> okay. I also feel a slight pressure, bleh, pressure to record something already because it's been half an hour almost already. I think I can do that. Okay. So I think I'm going to record a good like couple measures of that and then I'm just going to copy it over so I can use it as the background for everything. Okay, here we go. I should turn the audio up a little bit so I can hear it better. Okay. Okay, so I did that a couple of times just in case I screw up um, and I need to fix it <laughs> or like crop some of it. But let's see, I almost like forgot how to look at this, but can I, this is the EQ, but I wanna look at the MIDI, which I have forgotten how to do. I can see it here is the thing, but I want to be able to see it down here where I'm editing my stuff. I might actually Google how to do that real quick. Mm -hmm. And I'm just not doing it on the computer because I feel like it'll um, stall my, <laughs> like it'll go really, really slow. Oh, I have to, that makes sense, okay. <laughs> Okay, view show editor. Yay, there we go, okay. So down here, you can see exactly what notes I played. So you can see that I played like a middle C, technically. I, I turned it down an octave on the keyboard because, I mean, you heard it, it's really deep, but. Okay, as is often the case, I feel like my last like three repetitions were the strongest out of all of them so I think that what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna use that last one because it starts at the very beginning of this measure like at five if you can see um, so I'm gonna use I think it's command T to split Ugh. what is the shortcut I've forgotten command Let's see, edit, is it not split? It says undo split region, so I'm not sure. Ooh, also, yeah, I forgot about that. You can see my notes as well, which is really neat, but that's not what I want right now. Okay, da, 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 da. split notes at playhead. It is, I think I, yes, okay. Let's see if that, all right, okay, so, oh, I don't know why I did that, <gasps> did it get rid of, <laughs> I think GarageBand crashed on me, um, which is great to show, <laughs> what, no, don't install, I can't, because, I don't have the permissions. I don't think it saved anything. That's okay, we didn't do that much, but like, damn. Okay. Well, you know, that's, <laughs> that's a lesson learned is <laughs> save everything because it might go away at any time. Life is short. I know it, wait, if I reopen it, it might. No, nothing, no recovery for me. That's okay. I was using the bass. No, wait, I was using the synthesizer. I was using the bass and then I was using something. The, this is a lot of stuff. I don't know if I can find it again. Oh boy, percussion maybe? Oh boy, boy howdy. Maybe this is our chance to use something else. 
I wonder if there's a way I can stop it from downloading these sounds because I have a I have a feeling that that's why it crashed but I don't know if I can okay preferences I don't think I can stop it from downloading once I've asked it to, which is my bad, but hopefully we're just going to pray that it doesn't do that again. And if it does, I'm going to figure out how to get, to stop it from doing that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> back, back to business, right? I forgot what I was using. It was like the something base, but we're going to find something or the other to use. Oh, the cheap working. I remember you, my old friend. Mm -mm -mm. The worst part is that it won't really show me which sounds are available, and I don't think that there's a way to ask it to show me only the sounds that are downloaded. Robert? No. Okay. The cool part is if you, so I, I can't download the instruments because I don't have administrator permissions, but if you do have administrator pers bleh, permissions, like you're doing it on your own laptop, there's some pretty cool um, sounds that you can download, like especially in the world instruments, there's some like ones that you may not have heard of. The Chinese drum kit in particular is a favorite of mine. Um, it sounds really cool. I don't think there's a good way I can like describe it. I don't know like fancy sound terms, so I can't really describe exactly what it sounds like but it's really cool and i really enjoy it <sighs> retro horns ew i think i remember really liking this one no i don't <laughs> <laughs> juicy <laughs> juicy pump face a plus names massive y some of these are just hilarious subby base substitute teacher base lads Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be a million potential embarrassing clips you could take from this of me like flinching. This is what I'm using. I'm gonna use it and it's gonna be quick. And I'm just gonna record it before anything crashes. Then I'm gonna press like command save immediately. Okay. I, my problem is that I don't think the, I put it down, like I put the octave down as much as possible and I just don't feel like it's low enough. See, this this uh, lag is really worrying me. <laughs> Wait, that actually kind of sounded like a heartbeat. I think I actually might use this. I was planning to go derivative and just use like the the beat, like the rhythm itself, but I might just do this. Okay. Okay, we're saving this. <laughs> Nothing. Oh! <laughs> guys. Guys, 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 guys. Please be there. 
Yeah, saving saves us. See, okay, there you go. Lesson learned. It helped me because it went away and then I was scared and then I fixed it. Oh my God. I'm gonna have like, it's ironic that I'm recording a heartbeat because I'm going to have palpitations from this. So it's the beginning where I screwed up. So the reason for this big pause um, thing is that I wanted my beat to start at the beginning of the measure and I, I don't know, something felt wrong about that. <laughs> okay, show editor. Whew, okay, so I think, I think almost all this is actually good. Except for that. <laughs> I will actually go ahead and cut it from this and then. The darkest and heaviest of bases. Sounds pretty edgy. Okay, we got that. I'm gonna save it. And I think that I'll cut it at like, I might cut it at five measures just cause that seems like a nice like roundabout number. Okay, wait, so I just need to make sure I'm not gonna cut any of my notes off here. So at the end of five, right there. Well, let's click on this first. Okay, whoo, All right, all right, all right. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Um. Maybe I should remind myself of some famous waltzes because I don't, I know I sound like I'm good at music theory, but I feel like I don't remember like anything. Da, da, da. You know what? I'll go on Spotify so we don't get any ads. I'm probably going to play this out loud on my phone so you'll be able to hear it. I'll actually do myself a favor and Google on this what the central tenets of waltzes are. And we can try and follow some of those rules maybe and it'll be kind of fun. Okay. Okay, three beats in each. Actually, I don't know if this counts because it's like, do, do, that's two beats. Does a heartbeat in threes? forgets what a heart oh no that's tachycardia <gasps> that's actually really cool because um hmm. anyway okay we're not doing a waltz um let's see what other types of music we can do because that'll be cool wow my computer is worrying polyrhythm you know what? Yeah, we're just going to make some stuff. I think I'm going to go in with a pipe organ because I feel like it. That seems as good a reason as any. All right. So we'll find our organs. Actually, I might do that fixer upper organ. It sounded fun. OK, so I used a C for that. So I could go A minor. Or maybe I need to add, like come with, uh, sorry, I just press that with my bicep, if you couldn't see. I might try and add like a main melody first and then see where I go from there. I just don't know what quite to do at all. I really like this. I think I need to see. Okay, this is what I clicked last time that made it crash. So I'm a little scared. 
Let's turn this loop on so it just is goes on forever. That I did that by the way by right clicking and then saying loop on or off and it just replicated it so it'll keep going. Oh wait, I'm still in this instrument. That sounds bad. I don't think those two um, instruments are quite compatible. It'd be really cool to go into the glockenspiel, but that looks like something that I have to download. Pipe organ. What about Romantic. That's pretty romantic, I would say. Okay. All right. I actually want to do that. I actually want to record that. I want that to be at the beginning of the measure. Um, I can always drag stuff over, but like to time it correctly, it just, wait, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Where's my editor? <laughs> I think it disappeared like again. I don't know why it disappears like every single time. Ooh. I could have sworn I plonked like a wrong key in there, but I don't actually see a stray note. Also, okay, check this out. I can like neaten up my notes a little so they're all even. I think that I want a tiny bit of overlap with um, all these notes. So as you can see, uh, you can use GarageBand to like kind of cheat and make your notes like more precise than they are, which I love. I love to cheat at music. It's not actually cheating because I'm not going to like claim that my timing is perfect or whatever, but it's really nice to be able to do that. Let's see what the timing goes for this. It went like slightly over the two thirds. So it was like, I don't know how to actually do the equivalent of that. <laughs> There's probably a good way of measuring it. I'm not about, ugh, I'm not about to find that out right now. Oh, that's because I'm dragging them. I thought I was literally like pressing stuff with my like arms as I was doing this. I think I'm just going to even these notes up and then give them the same amount of overlap and see how that sounds to me and then we'll move on from there. That sounds like a good plan, right? Okay. Pipe organing it up. I don't know why I like pipe organs so much. They're just a good noise. Okay, let's do this from the beginning. Okay, that one, my timing was actually really good with that and I shouldn't have messed with it. Okay. I need to go back to the beginning. Press record. That was. <laughs> mm 
Okay, so after that, I think um, underneath, I want to add like a... Yeah, G. This is what goes. Okay. It's like maybe right in there. Can't tell if that sounded good. Let's go one, two, two. Mm. That doesn't actually work with the beat that I've set because it's kind of swingy. Mm. So let's. that a loop too. Just have a lead, like a lead in a little bit. <laughs> Let me... That. I think that I'll have to do something with the beat though because it doesn't match. Okay, so the timing doesn't fit in with this. And I overlap every five measures. So let's see if I can get this little thing down to where um, it matches my loop, I think, is my plan. Ah, okay. So that means that I want it to end right here. So we're running a little ahead of time. I have three, um, or I guess four, so let me leave a measure for each of these and then so a measure for each of these chords and then a measure for this and then a measure for my lead in because that makes five I think with math. <laughs> sense to me though maybe we get rid of the heartbeat I think I might get rid of the heartbeat I'll keep it muted for now um because I'm not positive but I think that that's what I might do. Because I'm not really liking what it's doing to th my thing rhythmically. I think I might have changed the note.
Oh, sorry. So if you haven't noticed, if you play like if you play it at the like in the middle of a note, it won't play the note because you didn't do the beginning part. I don't like how long that is. Maybe I'll have a rest. Like a little little short pausey pause. why but I feel like this could work <laughs> wait okay yeah see that's something you guys all heard it if I play these two notes at the same time I just need to get the rhythm better so if you haven't noticed my like uh, percussion skills are usually the weakest part of my like musical whatever you want to call it <laughs> also not very formal and I'm sure that's like hurt me a bit but mm -hmm. I'm trying to get this to loop smoothly and I want it to end by this measure start like before that that measure starts so I'm trying to like My video froze. Why? I <laughs> Okay. Um I've been trying to replace the battery. I'm really I might turn this off and on again and see where that gets me. There we go. Come on, bud. Okay. I really thought the the battery died for a sec, but I got I got lucky. I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Okay, so back to whatever I was doing. God. Let's see if that loops well. <laughs> I should not have looped it so soon because I um so it loops whatever you have and as you can see I have this big blank space where I didn't I forgot to cut it so I need to get rid of that before I can see if it loops I think but uh, I also always forget because I own a Windows computer that you have to use command for your control and like equivalent I don't know why they did that but they did worried about the end because you can see that big gap like right there well it's not that big it's this big but okay let's see how it loops ba -ba. it feels like I'm doing like a wedding -y song I kind of want to like uh Maybe the problem is that I left all this space at the beginning. Maybe it should start right away. Like right here. Oh, get. Get rid of you. Oh, no. Okay. Um. Hmm. Get. Ah. 
issues. What? Why isn't this? Okay. It looks like it didn't split correctly for some reason. Why aren't you split? Get, get out of there. <laughs> Don't want you. You're not welcome here. Okay, let's try to undo the split and see why that is happening. Or maybe I can just... Ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. Then... Oh. Okay. That's close. Maybe I can just get it within this, but that would... This part was a little much. I think I thought I just need to re record that part because now I'm getting confused. Every time I'm surprised somehow, like, oh, he took. This is just, it's just this one that's sticking out. Ugh. Okay. I think all I have beef with is this little overlap. I think that I'll be satisfied with that. Yay! Okay, okay. I think I think that we can do our loop now. If I cut it right there, or I guess I can just shorten it to six measures. And then I loop it. And then it sounds like a thing, maybe. <sighs> okay. Okay. You see the issue there, I think. Um, that there's no gap here. I think we need a little breather before that starts again. Or I raise the earth and start anew because that, I don't know. See, do you see, guys see what I mean? I'm very capricious about my, um, the decisions I've made. <laughs>
fast. Okay. Du, 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 du. No, not 101. That's bothering me. Okay. That tempo is all sorts of wrong. Maybe it's the time signature. This is just too slow. I think I need it to be like, let's try. ending part I'm like really stuttering beat wise like I'm not staying on beat which is pretty bad because I like considering I'm a bassist like that's not very good to do I'm gonna just try and bite the bullet and record and see what happens Maybe that was the time signature one. Deciding that that was something, okay? Executive decision. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, well, that's something. Let's add another instrument and see if I can. <sighs> mm -hmm. Where should I put? not nothing maybe I might I might just like play this and try to play over it and see if there's anything in there I gotta remember that I'm mostly in C major so maybe if I go into A minor I can do something was actually really cool there was one note in there that I feel that wasn't ideal like that last I think ugh, <laughs> the last E at the end but I think that I like what I did wait okay let's listen to that whole thing actually and see what I want that to sound like instead. I'm going to try and record instead of that ending part. That's not bad. Let's get rid of that and then I'm just going to erase these last two notes so that I can do it again. If that's gonna work. Um, I'm just gonna. Okay, so that last note didn't really work out as you could tell like it clashed a little I also really like the mountain I like that you can see what notes you've played it's kind of fun um, to like see the patterns to a C. Dun, dun, dun. I 
can't tell whether I want it to go down low or up high though, because it could go. Or I think up higher is more fun for me. Let's listen to that and see if it sounds good. Okay, not to go all robot theme. I don't know if anybody's like um anybody visited my last stream, but it was of me like building a robot in Illustrator. This feels like a wedding march for robots or like a ballet for robots or something. Maybe I just got robots in mind, but it sounds like robots to me. Like it, it sounds like if I were to make a, make a wedding march for robots, and I think that's pretty cute. Cause you know, robots also deserve love. <laughs> Okay, um, I'll just shorten this so it's not incredibly cumbersome. And then, da, 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 da. yay! Let's see if, cause that almost makes a smooth loop, but yeah, I bet I could shorten that. I wouldn't be, oh, oh no, <laughs> got rid of that entire note. Let's just. Do that and see if it fits in neatly. Actually, now that I'm listening to that entire end part, it kind of sounds clashy. don't sound as good, but I... No, I don't like the echo on that. Anyway, um, oh, phew. Okay. Let's see. I kind of want some, like, horns or something since we're going wet robot wedding, I guess. Or maybe some synths that sound like horns could be good. Um, or some strings could be good. <gasps> no, wait. <coughs> I just realized that. Sorry, I choked on my own, like, air. Because I realized that I was switching this instrument instead of um, doing a new one. So I'm going to put that back to normal. If I can... Okay, we were a romantic organ. Thank God. Okay. Gotta have gotta have the romance, you guys. <laughs> okay. Back to um looking for strings or something. Ugh. I don't know. Some of these names feel like not fitting, because that doesn't sound like strings to me. If this is what strings sound like in the future, I do not want to be a part of it. I don't. I've had enough of 2021. <laughs> Can't take, like, a nice orchestra away from me as well. <gasps> Ghostly reversed organ? It's so quiet. I'm not touching it. It's still going. That's the ghost, probably. Okay. <laughs> um... Okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna just play this and not record anything and see if I get
I could start like right there on the seventh measure. Let's let's try playing that again. Maybe we can change it up there, like, um, like let that build. I could probably, oh, I don't know why I can't just keep that uh, editor pinned, but. So what I'm thinking is we loop that romantic organ again. And then over that period of time, have this weird, uh, what is this called? Pulse, have the pulsating waves built <laughs> uh, while that's happening. I'm well aware that I could loop it, but I don't know how long that I want these to go on for, so I'm just um, copy pasting. Oh, sorry, that was a spicy. I see where the issue is. So I would have to just start here maybe. I want to I want to know how bad that pause would be though. It starts during that down note, so I would want it to overlap like right here. Stop I do not want anything installed. Let's save, because now I'm scared again. Uh, uh. Mm. Mm. Okay, installed for a second. We're good. Oh, okay. Uh. Hello? Are you gonna... <laughs> oh, man. Just... My screen is frozen and that's worrying. Okay. I might, okay, so I've saved this. I think I'm gonna exit out of the program and open it again. Recent test project. Cool. There we go. Problem is with the top loop. Let me hear the end of that. Yeah, okay. Because I didn't do that loop like quite evenly. Oh. Yeah, you can see that these two notes are the same, and this is where it would have like started. So, I think that I can, like, fix that, though, if I just do this, and then, oh, okay, wait, shorten this, uh, shorten this note a tiny bit, and then just crop it to that, and then slide them on over. I also think I have to crop this to this, and then, let's see if that works out for us. To that end. This needs to. You're at the beginning of the measure. Okay, that's where it needs to have started at the beginning of the 14th. Um. 
measure. Da, da, da. I don't know why that. I just heard the. No! My camera keeps. <laughs> um. Failing on me. Okay, I'll fix that after I fix my camera, which I don't, I'm not really sure why it's doing that. My battery seems to be fine. It's just like a turn it on and off again situation, which I just turned it on and off again. I'm kind of just waiting now. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Okay, I'm good now. Again, sorry everyone. Technology is just, like haunting me today. I don't really know what that's about, but um So what was I doing? Oh, okay, that note disappeared. That was my issue Could I okay, let's see Okay, so now let's see what the issue is with the have a thing <sighs> okay oh no am I still it looks good to me but I think that I'm not frozen anymore yeah I think I'm good please let me know if I'm still frozen um but yeah okay so I think this that this is fixed like my music and the technological issues so now I'm gonna try and actually do a thing over it with pulsating waves. Cool. I'm glad it's good now. That was... I actually kind of want to copy this into this instrument. Ugh. Oh. And see how that sounds overlapped right here. Ba -ba. Let's start right here. cool I do like that um I'm gonna see if I can mess with this instrument a little because time quant okay so it's 1 16th notes I think that it loops on what if I did 1 4th This is okay well I think I like how that instrument sounds right there I might try to see if I can knock it down an octave but I don't remember how to do that <sighs> okay um I'm gonna actually try to google how to Mm -mm -mm. 
I know that I can drag the notes. I just want to be able to do that entire section so I don't have to mess with it. Not change the pitch. Okay, this is annoying. I'm going to try and figure it out myself because I'm annoyed with it. Um. Actually, might have done it. I think that I'm off by one because I transposed it to negative seven. I think I need to go negative eight to go down a full octave if I'm correct because <laughs> that's how many like steps is in an octave if you look at like the keys so let's see if that sounds right seven semitones <sighs> okay what does that mean Semitones. Oh, so it's like literally a step. How much? How many semitones should I transpose? Two semitones. I don't want to change the key. I just want to go down an octave. One semitone, 12 times. So it's 12 maybe? Let's try that. It does show me where the notes are on the piano, like right here when it's playing it. So I could look, but... Okay, what note does that sound up, start out on? Ooh. Okay. <sighs> okay. At zero, this is. Thanks, I still don't know what a semi time is. <laughs> ah, what a mess. At least I'm looking at my stream window right now and all this like layering looks very um, impressive. So I don't think I like it overlapping with the romantic organ even though I really wanted to transition. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is move this like all the way over so it starts when this ends and I think I might fade it in. Wait, that's so silly. You can literally see where the steps like mirror each other. So I need to not make it be off like that, maybe. Hold on a second. So this needs to be moved over like, wait, uh, like that? Okay, 
Okay, so I think that what I'm gonna do is I forgot how to do this, but you can like crescendo and stuff. Um, in this, so I'm gonna see. Create volume flavor. Da -da. Because mm -mm. I can make this like fade in, and so that's I, I think what I want to do. I just can't remember how to do it. Um, so I'm gonna find it right here in front of you. I don't want to create volume fade out on main output. Da -da -da. Maybe I'll look this up. Boop. Huh. I just have to have it show master track. I knew I whenever I've had to Google something, it feels like I just um there's like a menu thing that I need to be able to see. Okay. Mm, but I don't want the master track, I think. Or do I? I want to be able to choose volume from there. I don't, here's the problem. I don't want to fade in and out my whole song. I just want to fade in and out an instrument and I've done it before. The reason that I'm having trouble with this is because I I did this a long time ago and as you know, Apple makes major updates like a lot. This is what I'm trying to look for. Um, That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so. Anyway, so I want the volume on this and then. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. What is this? Anyway, I want the volume to show on. There we go. Okay. So, I want this to fade in. So, I want it to go from nothing to something. I think that... Okay. Let's see if I can do that in a smoother way. Because right now, what I'll have to do is manually uh, draw my fade in and fade out. Hmm. Mix, create, volume, fade out on main output. So, but how do I do the opposite of that is my question. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't think that I can do it. I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. So I will start out from nothing. Every, like, two measures I will go up. A unit of something. I want it to be like pretty gradual. So. Wait, I don't even need to make this many points. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Sorry, everyone. I went temporarily insane. I can literally just do this. I don't I don't really know what possessed me to do whatever that was, but okay. Let's see how that sounds. Also, um, what's really cool is you can 
select whether it's going from the right ear to left ear. So I've done music before where it goes like ping pongs back and forth, which is pretty cool. Uh -uh. I've done the fade in a little too gradually just because um well so you've heard this instrument and it already kind of like is I don't know the terms for it it's like kind of like warpy and it builds on its own so I think that I might have done it a little too like gradual because it already has that kind of built in Somewhere along the way, um, somewhere along the way, this got really messed up semitones wise. I'm just gonna like copy this over again because it sounds strange and bad notes wise. So we're just gonna, <laughs> and then I'll mess with the volume, but you know, pretty good. sound too bad on its own. I'm trying to figure out if I'm okay with this like little rough edge. So now I'm going to show, okay, so that stayed actually. I might actually fade this out eventually just because I might move to a rougher sound. too dramatically. <laughs> Let's Okay, so I think that I want it to reach like full volume by here actually, which might be a little dramatic, but we'll see. How that goes, I'm gonna get rid of this volumey thing again because it looks really complicated. And then I'm gonna copy this over and continue with this. Yeah, so you can see, you, you know, I usually like overlap stuff and like kind of slip into new parts of the song. And so, and sometimes things are more planned and sometimes they aren't. I stay on the less planned side generally speaking. This went really, really quiet. I really don't know what happened there. I think what I'm going to do is watch this volume slider and see what happens with this. Okay, 
I think I also want this romantic organ to fade out. I'm not sure what's happening here. I know I said robot wedding um, at first. Not quite sure that's the plot anymore. Um, I'll just get you quieter as you go. <laughs> I think there's some cool things going on. I think that right here I'm going to start some new stuff because this is where stuff is starting to end. So let's add another instrument. <laughs> think of something like that. Crap, I don't have strings. Do I have no, no, nothing, none of these? I really wanted some sort of orchestra-y thing, but we'll see if I can. <laughs> Maybe I'll go in with the guitar. No, I don't have any guitars. Um. <laughs> Bells. <laughs> Whoa. All right. That sounded scary. I feel like the names are such like misleading. Like this is not calming. This freaked me out. Anyway, so it's called Coral Reef, apparently. I actually really like that one. But no, I wanted something really dramatic. It's very Tron. You did a really good impersonation of these instruments. That's exactly what it sounds like. I think it clashes too much. I think that these like, um, where it doesn't arpeggio by itself clashes too much because I don't know what it's going to do. So I think that I'll stay away from that from right now, but I think it's cool for me. It's good to know that I have that. It's not very wah-wah. It's brrrr. thing um, faded out there for some reason. I kind of like what I have so far, honestly. Um, just not quite sure where to go with it because a lot of my favorite instruments just aren't available to me. Oh, that's very suspenseful. Maybe I can... Um, actually vary this um like basic thing that I've set down like change the <laughs> and then I forgot what I did.
And if I just... Oh, I don't know what I did, but I don't... Okay, whatever. Okay, wait. Sorry. Oh no, my camera! Why? Why does this keep happening? Oh my gosh, I'm very sorry, everyone. I'm not quite certain what's happening with the camera that's causing it to die this much. Um, I swapped the battery right before I started the stream, and then you saw me swap it on camera once more, so I'm not really sure why it's um, dying so hard. There we go. But <laughs> it's just not in the cards for y'all to see my face, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we will we will check on that later, I promise you. But And then right where it has set E again, that's my chance to do some stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna shorten the, oh. I'm gonna shorten this until that E essentially. And I'm gonna add in my new junk. Right, right where that starts. That's not, sorry everyone, okay. what I want to do. Let's see how that goes. <sighs> okay. Actually, I don't know how that's going to fit in with the metronome. the metronome. Wait, my entire master track is fading. I need to I need to look at my um Aha! I found the culprit. It's this. I do not want my song to fade out. Thank you, Crash Band. Okay, cool. Now that's not sabotaging me, I will make that go away. All right, <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll turn this metronome off. Fly by the seat of my pants. basis for my beat. I think I'll turn it down an octave so it's like... That's actually kind of a variation on what I did before. Um, let's try and do it with the metronome just so I'm not horribly off beat, but... Uh, I'll start from here, I guess. I, 
think I need to record this without hearing anything but the metronome because I think it'll mess me up and then I can drag it back. Wait. Uh, was that recording? That was recording. Okay. Well. What did I want to do? I think I wanted to go. those two repetitions because I'm not sure what I want after that but I might as well get those done since I'm pretty sure about that I think the last part of that was the best as always okay Okay, I think I'm gonna take that last uh, chunk. I do have to move this note so it doesn't get uh, snipped with the rest of my stuff, but mm, boop. And then move you over here maybe. I think my plan was to have this end and uh, start here. So these two parts do clash, but I think if I fade them in, at least there'll be like a connecting through line. I really do want to go home and mess around with this myself because I'm starting to like re-remember um, things that I used to know. And so I feel like this song is a little messy, but now like this has wet my garage band appetite, if you will, to like go try and mess around myself. See how that sounds. Oh, I don't know if you guys just heard that, but someone dropped somewhere, like something somewhere. That was actually really messy, that, where the loop starts right there. It's not terrible, I suppose. I still think there's like a big gap where... An I think I want that to come in like right there instead of it's like a whole repetition almost ahead um, but then this is 
I need to move over my little sound, my um, volume adjustments. So that it's like right here. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, there we go. This is a lot of what messing around in GarageBand is, where like you like move stuff around and then you listen to it over and over and you're like, does that sound like anything? And then you're like, no. pretty cool okay um i do think that i'm gonna get rid of this loop just because um i tweaked one of the notes at the end so the loop would sound more natural so i want like that version of it to keep going i feel like i've gone gotten into like vaporwave like uh weird edm territory with this towards the end I think this is where I would start. I am at the end of my time period, but for the record, I think that that's where I would start to have a breakdown and go into some, like, Tron shit where it gets, like, weird. <laughs> um, yeah, and maybe a little distorted. Not that there wasn't enough distortion in the beginning, but... Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end. I think I'm just going to play those start to finish to see, I don't know, what I got, if anything, um, out of this. But I'm going to also just get rid of this so that it looks smooth. And yeah, I'm going to play this through and see. <laughs> there is a little weird but I don't like that fade out that much but we can work on that you can really see that I start getting stronger towards the end of making this <laughs> So, you know, n the longer you mess around, the better you get at it, obviously. So you can see that things were going a lot smoother towards the end, both like process wise and when you listen to the song, the end of it literally sounds better. Um, in a lot of my previous pieces that I did like forever ago when I was first getting into GarageBand, you can really hear the difference as to like what the beginning of the song, like, cause I used to literally not use the metronome. So while my songs were really cool, they were kind of off. Um, Hopefully at some point, um, if I get back on again, I'll try and make a portfolio online where you can listen to my old and flawed songs um, that I had previously. And I might even try and play some of them here or try and fix some of them here at some point in the future. But um, yeah, I gotta ask the tech wizards to check out that camera and also to see if I can download instrument packs somehow to one of the computers, but that's all for the future. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. It was really exciting as a DML employee to finally uh, use stuff from the DML. Um, we're located in the West Wing of the library next to like the space portal door. There's like this big green wall that says digital media library, library, digital media lab. That's in Hill. Um, in Hunt, we're located on the fourth floor. There's a bunch of music rooms along the fourth floor. There's usually a person sitting out there. So if you have anything like media creating related, come check us out. Um, we have a lot of resources and also there's always someone on hand to try and help with that stuff. Um, yeah, so if you're stuck with any of this, please go ask us. And yeah, as you can see, just messing around, you can get pretty far. So maybe try to mess around a little once you're done with finals as a stress reliever. I know I will, but it was awesome to see you guys and I'm gonna go off camera and stop streaming, but have an awesome week, everyone. <laughs>